Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in the last class we have started the sorting techniques and we have also learned the first type of technique called bubble sort which is very simple and the fundamental one. Today we are going to learn the second type of sorting technique called insertion sort. Right, the working logic is uh, like this. Here we divide the list into two portions, sorted portion and the unsorted portion. Uh, we are going to do this apparently and at each iteration an element is moved from the unsorted portion to the sorted portion and eventually we get the list sorted. Right. Uh, once we do it practically, you will get it the better idea of doing it. So here is the simple array of five elements and we are going to implement the insertion sort on it. So in the first iteration, we are assuming uh, the first element as the sorted element, uh, as the part of the sorted element and we are moving that to the sorted portion. Simply we are uh, making that as part of the sorted portion right and we are taking the next element in the second iteration we are considering the next element of the unsorted array unsorted part of array and this time we are uh, we are selecting this element and we go and check and we go and compare this element with all its previous elements so let's go and do that is 90 yeah so is 90 less than 20? No, then keep it as it is. So now take the next element. Uh, now take the first element from the unsorted array, take that and compare it with all its previous element. Is 10 less than 90? Yes, then move it to its position next. Is 10 less than 20? Yes, it is. So then move that element to the first element, first position. Now go and take the next element. So is 70 less than 90? Yes. Is 70 less than 20? No. So then keep it as it is. And we are not moving further because once we get that it's an uh, element which is currently pointing to, right? And we are sure about that. Now take the next element. Is 50 lesser than 90? Yes, it is. Next. Is 50 lesser than 70? Yes, it is. Next is 50 lesser than 20, no, then we are up to the mark and we have the list sorted. So let us go and learn the C code for the insertion sort now. Now we are going to implement the same technique using this code. So this is the insertion sort function. Uh, this for loop, can you see the outer for loop? This runs uh, from the first element till the last element and this loop so, uh, runs on the sorted array right once we uh, do it practically trace it we'll understand it better so this is the simple array of uh, nine elements index start from 0 to 8 so this is the initial state of our list okay so the outer array starts from 1 so I will uh, initialize i with 1 and j is 0 right so we will simply trace this program so initially we keep the a of i value inside temp that is a of i is currently pointing to this because i is 1 we are going to keep that element inside temp so this is going to be inside temp right so temp and a of i are the same now so j will get the value uh, 1 less than i because i minus 1 so so we are starting uh, because this is already assumed to be sorted, right? So is j is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. Is temp, the value of temp is less than a of j, that means a of i. So here a of j is this one, right? a of j because j is 0, a of j is representing the first element, right? Okay. Uh, is uh, the content of temp is less than a of j? No. So don't touch this code. Just get out of the loop and uh, place the content of temp inside j plus 1. Since this is a of j, the j plus 1 will be the same element. Right. So in the second pass, I will get 
2 and j is 1 right and place a of i here now a of i is 80 place that element in temp is j is greater than or equal to 0 yes and content of temp is less than a of j now a of j is 1 right is content of temp is less than a of j no then again store that temp back into a of j plus 1 since this is j so this will be j plus 1 right so now change the uh, i value now i is 3 so a of i is this so j will get one number less now j is 2 so j is pointing to this now right uh, so start from j equal to i minus 1 now j, j is 2 of course is j greater than or equal to 0 yes is content okay so we will store a of i inside j this is a of i inside j is content of temp less than a of j yes it is now store a of j inside a of j plus 1 so a of j will increment its position and it will go here so we are shifting the elements towards right what we did earlier uh, when we do our when we were doing manually right now get again search for the other elements we are decrement j can you see this we are decrement j so we are going back is j greater than or equal to 0 yes it is because j value is 1 now and temp is less than a of j is temp less than a of j yes so move that position to right and increment sorry decrement j is j greater than or equal to 0 yes and the content of temp is less than a of j yes 10 is less than 20 so move this towards right because we are moving a of j uh, to a of j plus 1 right now decrement j so now j will pointing now j will point minus 1 because it is physically not exist but it it changes its value to minus 1 right is j greater than or equal to 0 no it is because it is now currently pointing minus 1 which is not exist but it has it has got the value minus 1 so now get out of the loop and store the content of temp inside j plus 1 now j has got minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 now j is pointing a of 0 right so this is a of 0 now this many elements are sorted 1 to 0 to 3 right now store a of i now i value increments to 4 now store a of 4 inside temp okay so j will get value 1 number less than i 3 now a of j is pointing to this now right so is j greater than or equal to 0 yes and temp is less than of a of j yes so move that a of j to a of j plus 1 okay now decrement j is temp less than no get out of the loop and get out of the loop and store temp inside j plus 1 now j plus 1 is this place this here right now increment i value i is now 5 a of i is currently pointing here get this into the temp now a of j is j is now 4 because one number less than i j a of j is pointing to this is j greater than equal to 0 yes temp content of temp is less than a of j yes then move a of j to a of j plus 1 and check again so decrement j is j greater than equal to 0 yes content of temp is less than no get out of the loop store temp inside j plus 1 so j plus 1 is this store this 60 here right now increment i value now i is 6 a of i is po pointing here get that inside temp now j gets one value less than i a of i is this a of j sorry a of j is this is j greater than equal to 0 yes is content of temp less than a of j no then place that temp inside j plus 1 so j plus 1 is this this so store that here okay now increment i i is now 7 a of 7 is this now j gets one value less than i i is 6 
so it is currently pointing here is j greater than equal to 0 yes okay before that shift a of i inside temp okay now temp is less than a of j yes so move a of j to a of j plus 1 is j greater equal to 0 yes is temp less than a of j yes so a of j is this after decrementation move a of j to a of j plus 1 decrement a of j check j is greater than equal to 0 yes is temp less than n a of j yes move a of j to a of j plus 1 decrement a of j is j greater than equal to 0 yes temp is less than a of j yes move a of j to a of j plus 1 now decrement j is j greater than equal to 0 yes 2 is greater than equal to 0 is temp less than a of j yes uh, sorry sorry for that no temp is not lesser than a of j then get out of the loop uh, store temp inside j plus 1 j plus 1 is this store that 40 here ok so 40 is now here so we have sorted until 60 here right right next increment i i is now pointing 8 so here so j is one number less than i and store that inside temp now a of j is pointing this is j greater than equal to 0 yes and temp is less than a of j yes move a of j to a of j plus 1 and a of decrement a of j is temp is less than a of j yes move a of j to a of j plus 1 and decrement a of j is temp less than a of j no so that time move temp to j plus 1 so this is j plus 1 right ok now increment i value so i is now 9 so 9 is less than n what is n? n is 9 right so total number of elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yes 9 is the total number of elements 9 is not less than 9 so we get out of this loop so after this we are we are getting the list sorted 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 right so friends this is the complete c program on insertion sort please take this down on your book well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin Thank you.